Hi Enrique, this is John. I just wanted to make a real quick film, uh, give you an idea uh, about how we pack uh, our stuff and how we've been successful in getting things to arrive in one piece. Uh, it's just sort of coincidence. I wanted to show you this box that came today. Uh, just coincidentally, FedEx, ground. Uh, these are some glass tile samples that I ordered. Uh, from a vendor and as you can see the box has had a rough day it uh, the sides are, are crushed in on it um, you know that went through the conveyor belt and some boxes and stuff that were heavy crushed against it the only reason this stuff arrived without breakage is because when they um, boxed it they uh, took the samples in the box that they came and left an area open uh, there so it basically double boxed um, and knowing that these things are going to get bashed around and these are very fragile and they arrived in one piece so um, I'm, the only reason I'm showing this to you is that show you that um, you're not the only one and we're not the only ones in that that everybody has to pack uh, to these standards because it doesn't matter who the carrier is they're going to treat them like crap, and they're going to uh, beat the boxes up uh, unreasonably. But there's nothing you can do about it. Um, okay. Uh, I thought, uh, just to give an example of, of what we do and why, the, I've got a Rachel's Flower six, a Rachel's Flower 6x6 six six from you guys. This is typically um, how I've received them from you guys packaged individually. And uh, it's got a layer of um, a thin foam with a thin layer of um, bubble on it. Um, part of the Rachel's flower is completely exposed. Um, and it's, if anything uh, smacks against this, um, it, this would protect against some vibration, but that would be about it. What I would suggest to increase uh, uh, your protection um, is one, use uh, a thicker foam. We use eighth inch foam. Um, we buy it in, in large rolls. Uh, I get it perforated in uh, one foot perf strips uh, so I can just tear it off. It makes it a lot easier. I still cut them to be fairly close in size to what we're wrapping. And what we do is, um, uh, just it doesn't matter what it is we always put a layer of uh, we start with a with a foam wrap but I don't do one layer and a minimum of two many times I will even do three and uh, and I make it larger than the item I'm, I am wrapping you can see the edges are you can see the edges are protected and uh, then I tape this up and fold the edges around because that gives a nice little bumper. And you can see it's fairly well protected, but that's still not good enough. The reason why, and what I do after that, is I put a single layer of thicker bubble. I, this is a much thicker bubble than what I've been seeing you guys use. Uh, we also buy it in large rolls, um, one foot perforations, um, and I tear it off in strips. Uh, one thing of note, uh, make sure you get the uh, bubbles that are fairly resistant to popping. You, uh, I tried some Eco Recycle bubble for a while there and the bubbles just popped so easily. These still pop. You can buy some that's so good that they, it's hard to pop with your hand, but um, just something that's moderately uh, strong and resistant and um, is I found it works for me anyway. But I do a single layer of uh, bubble on it
tape it, tape the sides again, tape the sides again, and what that does now is I've got just what Linda calls our bubble, our little pillows, and um, these are, are quite strong. You can place them into the box by themselves, you know, in with others. There are people, you can bang against them, they can vibrate. They're going to take quite a bit. Um, the reason why I use both foam and bubble is that bubble works really well in terms of uh, making a, a big space around it. But if it's hit once and pops, it's it's not good for the uh, rest of the shipment. You you don't have uh, any protection once it's popped. And I found that when I got, I mean, I almost never get a package that's returned to me. I always open that package and go through and see how well my uh, packing is held up. And I always have bubbles popped. And I always have them popped. And that means it's falling back on my secondary uh, foam. And the foam works works well, um, and um, uh, and that way, you know, it, it can't be popped, but um, it uh, continues to protect even after uh, being hit numerous times. Uh, like I said, you know, average packages drop four or five times uh, at least. The machines uh, put them on conveyor belts and crush them into each other. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened to the box that I got today. Um, and basically, that's what we do. Um, the things that you really have to be careful about is that um, things can't vibrate in the box. You have to pack every box completely to the brim, uh, whether it's with... Uh, uh, styrofoam balls or or whatever paper or whatever but when you've got anything in the box of any size that you can pick that box up and you shake it that there is absolutely no movement whatsoever it's got to be just stuffed um, the uh, it's better to send two small packages than one giant one if it's really really heavy um, especially if you have items that are of different weights. If you have something that is really heavy and you have things that are really fragile and they're light, don't put them in the same box. Just They won't make it because what happens is that heavy thing, once it's, everything's being dropped, just works like a hammer and pounds against anything that's in there. Um, so uh, that's, that's it in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions or would like to get back with me about anything, please feel free. But um, basically, that's how we do it here. Talk to you later.